Hello everyone, Chuck Roberts here, but not for a video review, it's for a tier list. Yes, I'm sure you've heard that before, <laughs> more than once. <laughs> yeah, basically every couple of weeks I do um, a tier list essentially, so it's, uh, yeah, a uh, premiere, so I'll be in the chat along with you hopefully, um, or after the event you can click uh, the live chat to see what was going on at the time. And leave a comment for you as I say either way, it's great to get in touch even if you weren't there live. But yeah, basically what this will be is me discussing a certain topic and uh, putting... Um, different items of, the, of that topic into a different tier. So in this case, it's um, ranging from S, A, B, C to D, um, S being the best. Based, uh, long story short, based on the uh, Japanese high school scorings, um, reason that's sort of coming to this is because basically um, it's quite common in computer games to have that sort of ranking. So if you do really well, get a high score, you, you know, exceptionally well, you'll get an S basically. Um, and because tier maker kind of I think found itself, or at least started, to be associated with streaming and games and stuff like that. It's kind of uh, just gone that way, basically. I could change these and things like that, but it's just to keep them consistent, stuff like this. So there we go. <laughs> yeah, so... um. Yeah, so without further ado, what have we done this time? Yeah, so basically we've got uh, takeaways this time. British takeaways, yes. <laughs> um, and I just, I've not gone into sort of two specific ones here. Some of them are quite broad ranging, some of them are sort of companies, things like this. I might have missed some off, hopefully I haven't. Um, but yeah, just if it is, what I'll be doing is I'll be grabbing one from here and just dragging it into one of these uh, tiers here. So for instance, you know, kebabs I could put in A, B, C or D or whatever, or even S, yes, who knows. Um, so there we go, things like that. So that's basically the gist of it, that's how it works. So, um, and I'll just be discussing it. Um, obviously, if you're in the chat as well, or just watching it at some point, you can sort of be, uh, I don't know, yeah, berating me or <laughs> agreeing with me um, uh, profusely, I guess. I think that's the word. <laughs> yeah, so either way. But anyway, yeah, so it's a bit of fun, really. You might have missed some off. It's not, um, you know, it's only my opinion, of course. So obviously, feel free to disagree with me and let me know what you think. Um, yeah, whether I've got it wrong or not, whether, um, as I say, yeah, just let me know. Be interesting, be interesting. Hmm. Right, so without further ado, let's get started on that thing. This might be a short one normal. Sometimes I've got, you know, three rows of um of, of things in these tiers. This time I've got one, so it's like a how many have we got? Uh, five, ten, twelve this time. So sometimes I've had twenty odd, you see. So um yeah, so we'll see how it goes anyway. But um yeah, interesting this one, it'll be quite nice. Um yeah, I said it might have been some types of takeaway off, um or takeout if you want to call it that. Um but generally ones that, uh, you know, I think the most popular ones, stuff like this, I don't think I've forgotten any. I might have done. Apologies if I have. Um, it's one of those weird. And there are sort of other types, you know, it's quite difficult to sort of, there's, there's like Brazilian on there and stuff like this. Maybe I should have put that on. I don't know. It's where to draw the line, really, because then you could say, well, Turkish as well. And um, what's the other one? Lebanese and things like this. It's a difficult one, you know. So, yeah, I don't know. I've kind of gone for the main ones, really. Because I feel like, you know, it's, yeah, I, where to draw the line <laughs> is the gist of it. Um, okay, well, there we go. Let's just start with a baseline, I think. Now, baseline will probably be fish and chips, you know, I think, to be honest with you. I mean, it's the chippy tea here, isn't it? Uh, check out the song uh, Chippy Tea by Lancashire Hot Pots, by the way, if you uh, <laughs> want some British culture. Um, yeah, so, well, the East English culture, anyway. Um, well, Lancashire culture, even. Um, yes, yeah, so there we go. So, yeah, an interesting one, this one, I think. Basically, uh, chippy tea, chippy, whatever you want to call it. Uh, essentially, it's uh, fish and chips is the gist of it, but it could be in most things. Sometimes pine chips, chips and gravy, um, jumbo sausage and chips as well, which is why I used to always have. Um, and sort of, you can see in this little image here, there's mushy peas as well, which is another thing. I, I'm not sure. I think is it peas and vinegar, I think, mushed together. I'm not sure. I've never really been that big a fan of it, but it is a it is a thing. <laughs> it was these little tubs, yeah. So, hmm. And there we go. And you can have a tartar sauce, I think, as well, stuff like this. So I think for me, these ones, I think um, I'm probably going to say, as I say, just for a baseline, you know, to, so we can gauge what other ratings are around this one. I think I'm going to say a B, basically. Because um, I do like uh, I do like GPT. I used to have it quite a lot, really, but it's very unhealthy, as you can imagine, deep fried stuff. I know in Scotland, in uh, typical chippies, they'll, well, apparently, I've never really been to one of these, but they'll deep fry Mars bars and all sorts of any kind of sweets. I think this black place in the UK do it as well, but Scotland was made famous for this at one point. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, so there we go. Um I've never had one. I imagine it's not. Uh, I imagine it's very nice and deep fried. Uh, yeah, cream eggs and stuff like that. You know, uh, they sound really nice actually. I must say, but uh, highly, highly unhealthy. High, basically, like eating a heart attack pretty much. So I would recommend not having them. But maybe as a treat once every ten years or something like that. But I don't know. <laughs> Be careful. Um, but yeah, very nice. Chippy tea is always nice. As I say, for me, um, I like um, salt vinegar on my chips, um, and I have jumbo sausage instead of fish as well. I'm not. I can eat the fish. I'm not a big fish person basically. Um, is the gist of it. I'm just not a big fish person, but there we go. Seafood, I'm not, yeah. 
Not a big fan of seafood generally, but there we are. Okay, so there we go. Yeah, so right, let's, let's move on a bit then. So I think based on that, well, Burger King we've got next. Now, a lot of people, Burger King and McDonald's seem to be the two ones, don't you, really? Um, is the gist of it. Yeah, so I think, um, yeah, one of those. I think it's, for me, I've always been a McDonald's person, basically. Uh, I don't mind Burger King, but they just don't seem to, they're a bit too normal for me. I don't know why. McDonald's just seems to have something about it. I know it's a bit, um, probably not as quite as good or whatever. Um but um, yeah, it seems to have something about it for me, you know. Um, yeah, whereas Birkin doesn't. I don't know what it is. It just doesn't seem to work quite as well for me. Um, yeah, so I think. Ooh, I don't know. Yeah, I think for, I think for me, Birkin is probably a C. You know, it just doesn't quite do it for me. I know there's all these other these. It's just a Birkin. I don't know what it is. It's just the the grilled ones, whatever they are. I don't know. It just always it flame grilled whatever. I don't know. I know that's what some people like and they prefer that. But for me. It just doesn't work as well. I don't know why it is. Um, it's just not there. Yeah, I don't know. don't know. I can't. It's just never. I don't know if it's just because I didn't grow up on it or something. I don't know. I don't mind barbecued burgers and things. But just for some reason, I don't know. I just feel like Burger King doesn't quite work for me. It doesn't do it for me. It doesn't give you... Like McDonald's for me has a sort of quite... I don't know if people, people might think it's quite cheap. But it has a quite distinct taste for me. I quite enjoy it, you know, and it's quite different. Uh, whereas Burger King tastes quite normal. It doesn't taste as good as a barbecued burger. Um, yes, yeah, so it doesn't have anything, you know. I'd rather have, um, I'd rather go, you know, to a, a local takeaway or something and get like a proper, proper, you know, flame grilled burger, you know what I mean? Really nice one, you know. Um, whereas, Burger, yeah, as I say, Burger King just doesn't quite hit, hit it for me, it doesn't do it for me at all, yeah. So, I don't know, it's just, it's just not quite anything, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think I'd rather just go for a local takeaway, as I say, and get a decent burger there rather than a Burger King. I'm always a bit skeptical as well about takeaways that do um well like these restaurants they, they do like beans and stuff like that you know and um it's just a nothing thing that's have a takeaway beans I can't yeah it's a bit weird that yeah so I know Burger King and I think KFC do that and I've just always yeah it's never seemed quite right for me it's just a bit normal you know and just I got beans at home you know what I mean <laughs> very strange very strange that but yeah well, there we go hmm no oh, well such is life. Yeah, so see, well, so I still don't hate them or anything, but you know, it's not for me, basically. But okay, I'd rather have quite a lot of other things, I think. Yeah, then we've got, um, I think this is, uh, is this, yes, this is Chinese, this one for me. Now, yeah, Chinese, basically, I'm just not really a fan of, to be honest with you. I'm just not a fan of it. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm not, it's just, I don't know, I don't know what it is, I just, it's just not for me. I just don't pretty like the flavors of the watery soups and things I don't really like, and, um, I don't know, you know, I don't know, I can't use chopsticks either, so that doesn't help, I guess, but I'm just not a big fan of chicken either, so it's a big thing of chicken, um, is it, and duck and stuff like this, you know, is a big thing, I'm not really a big fan of that kind of thing at all, um, I'm quite fussy really, and then I remember once time, I went to the and all you can eat one once, and then for a while I can pick and choose things then, I remember getting like a, what I thought was a vegetarian thing, I was like, eating through the, the salad -y type stuff, and then I just came across this tentacle, you know, and just like, oh, you know, it's just horrible, yeah. But fortunately, that place did have a oh, you can eat ice cream with rafters on tap, you know, sort of Mr. Whippy type things. Very nice, that one. So I enjoyed that a lot. <laughs> but the actual, yeah, not for me at all. Yeah. Really wasn't. It just wasn't for me. It's just... Yeah. I don't know. Just, uh, just don't like... I've never, uh, you know... It's just never appealed for me, and I'm, I'm just not a big fan of it. I'm just not a big fan of it. Yeah, so it's got to be a D, unfortunately. It's got to be a D. Yeah. Just not, uh, not for me. Not for me. Then we've got an Indian now. Indian food, yeah, now I do like Indian food. I do like it a lot. Uh, naan bread, uh, love it. I can't get enough of that, actually. Um, quite like spicy Indian curries as well, but I don't um, tend to go for them too much these days because I prefer to just not have constantly have my nose run when I'm eating and stuff like this, <laughs> especially when in company and things like that. Um, but I do like a nice curry, yeah. You know, I used to just always have sort of the general, you know, what do they call them now? Traditional ones, I guess, the sort of English curries, really, like Boona and... Um, Bindaloo and Madras and stuff like this. I do quite like those, but I tend to stop now go for, um, yeah, the sort of chef specials and things like this now, something a bit different, and they're actually quite nice. I wouldn't say they're massively different than all the others, but obviously interesting, they come with some decent flavours as well. I tend to have a vegetarian one, I say, but I um, love the mango chutney as well, I love that, and I love dipping naans in that as well. Yeah, very nice. I love also all of it, really. I mean, I know some of it perhaps is not quite as authentic as other things, but I do really like it. I love all the breads. Yeah, just really enjoy them actually. It's really, really nice. Really tasty. 
Um, as I say, you can pick and choose as well. You don't have to have chicken, you know, you don't have to have lamb or anything. You have vegetarian, you have the paneer and stuff like this. You know, like places like KFC or whatever, where you're restricted to a certain type of thing. With uh, Indian, you can pretty much get anything. Um, I would even say that sort of even Chinese food, I feel like you're kind of restricted, really. I remember I went to a Chinese wedding once as well, actually. I forgot to mention that before. Um, and it was basically just about a 12 course dinner of just basically nothing but seafood and you know pretty much stuff that was just been killed like you know it was live five seconds you know, stuff like that, and big crabs and big, anything we have to snap it into pieces and stuff like that and to eat it, i'm just not into you know so having these hammers to smash up crabs and stuff and ripping the bits apart and having the heads looking at you just not for me at all you know really isn't so anyway so digressing a bit there but yeah not for me that so that's the you know <laughs> Uh, but as Indian food is a bit more up my street, there's none of all this stuff. I mean, I guess you can eat meat and things in it and stuff like that, but um, all this seafood stuff, just not for me. You can get seafood curries and stuff, but I'll say I can avoid them, and I do. <laughs> yeah, so you need what, what would I say? So, definitely one of the better ones. It's probably an A or an S. What do we think? Um, trying to think, really. A or an S. Ooh. Difficult one, you know. Very difficult. I think... It could depend on my mood. It's not quite... It's it's very... It's in between, basically. But I think I'm going to stick with an S. I say stick with an S, so I'm going to go with an S. It's, um, it's just... They're just so nice, and you know, when you're in the right frame of mind, and you get just a, a good, nice curry. It's so filling as well. It does de destroy you the next day, of course. You feel so full, and um, yeah. There's all things going on. It's not what I'm going to go into. But yeah, but um, well worth it. Um, at least you think it is at the time, anyway. <laughs> Um, yeah, lovely. Yeah, I do like them a lot. Very nice. Really nice. Lovely food. Yeah, it's got Domino's Pizza now. So yes, the Domino's. I do. Um, well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll put Domino's back a bit, I think, because we'll, um, yeah, we'll, we'll put that back a bit. We've got kebabs now. So these ones, are, there were some nicer pictures of kebabs. Um, these are some of your kebabs that's in pita bread, generally. Not the sort of, you know, um, ones you get sort of, you know, where uh, a skew and things like that. Although you can get the food on the skin and put it into these pita breads. Very much a sort of like a night out food dish, you know, it's ridiculously unhealthy, very, um, doesn't look much like it. it's just basically, I'm not sure what, lamb, what meat is actually is really, it could depend on what you get of course. You usually have sort of, um, various salads in this and spicy sauces and things and then never really had one all to myself, I always borrowed off someone, I'd say borrowed, pinched bits off someone, I usually went for a burger you see, um, a frame grill burger, stuff like that, um. Yeah, or even a pizza, maybe. Um, but yes, uh, really, you know, very nice, actually, I have to say. You can get um, kima naans in Indian takeaway curries. They sort of have pretty much donna meat in them. Um, so it's a bread, basically. Very nice, though, these. Um, as I say, perhaps just not for... I'm not a massive meat person. I tend to... I don't know. No, they're nice, though. They are nice, actually. And as I say, I was just saying before, I had burgers as an equivalent anyway. But in these days, you know, I tend to sort of... Avoid meat, so obviously these ones are just a no-go area these days. So I'm not, as I say, avoid meat, I'm just not in, not bothered about eating meat, so I'm quite happy to just have a vegetarian option, which is generally more healthy, I guess. Um, yeah, an interesting one, kebabs. I don't know what, where would I put them. I mean, they are quite nice, actually, as I say. I remember someone having one for lunch once, and I couldn't believe it. You know, I've never seen anyone having a kebab for lunch, you know, as at work as well. I thought, that's crazy, that, you know. We, but some people do, you know, some people do, crazy, really, but yeah. Never seen that. I thought it was just unheard of. You know, I couldn't believe my eyes. <laughs> um, yeah. Interesting one. Interesting one. I think ooh, it's probably somewhere between a C and a B, really. I think, you know, I think there's just something about them that's a bit more interesting. So I'm going to say a B, basically. Um, yeah, let's say a B. I do, I do like them. I don't have them that much, as I say, but they are, they do have a very sort of specific place in um in people's culinary uh, appetizers so yes <laughs> whatever you want to say um yeah they, they are you know very unhealthy very a bit you know, almost dirty you'd probably say just a dirty kebab is an expression i've heard quite a lot um but you know there's definitely room in people's lives for them and um yeah especially with some nice spicy sauce and stuff very nice yeah mm, definitely room for those <laughs> so kfc next and kfc well i've said before i'm not a big fan of chicken so KFC is kind of just, yeah, it's a non-starter for me, unfortunately. I know a lot of people do like it. I don't like the fact it's got beans, though. I say, things you get where you go for a takeaway and you get in beans and stuff. I've got beans at home. I just don't, you know, beans on toast isn't a takeaway or whatever, you know. I just, I don't get it. Um, well, I know it's not toast you don't get, but you know what I mean. Just, I don't get it. Yeah, I don't get it. Um, and some other things, you know, but yeah, I don't know. 
not sure. Very odd one, really. Very odd one. Just remember, there are a couple of um, takeaways I forgot to put on these. So, yeah, I'll add them. I'll post-production them, basically, but I'll come to them at the end. Um, yeah, so... Bit of a um, bit of a yeah yeah bit of a funny one this once. Well, to be honest, I can't beat about the bush. You know, it's basically a D for me. I'm just not interested in in fried chicken. I'm not interested in chicken. I don't like chicken actually at all. I can eat other meat. You know, um, use that sausages, bacon, some beef and stuff like lasagnas and things, pepperoni stuff like this. Usually the rubbish meat. I think people. Say, I'm not really into steaks and stuff. But but chicken is basically one thing. I'm just I just can't really have. I just don't like it. I mean, I don't mind um, chicken drummers and stuff like that, you know, processed chicken or whatever. But, um, but yeah, just generally, remember chicken spread as well when I was younger. I don't know what that's about. But uh, a bit like pate, I guess. But, yeah. Um, but, yeah, yeah, just, just chicken is just not for me. I know a lot of people will love KFC, and it'll be some people's A or S maybe, but for me, um, yeah, not for me, not for me. Mm. Yeah, not for me. <laughs> Yeah, McDonald's now. Yes, McDonald's. Well, um, I do quite like McDonald's, actually. I was saying before, I love the gherkin. I, I never used to... I used to think you could get gherkins anywhere else. I used to think it was just some kind of thing that McDonald's had and no one else did. But uh, <laughs> when I discovered you could get them in jars and things at supermarkets, I was getting loads of them all the time, putting them on everything. Loved them. Um, but yeah, so they're not too bad, uh, McDonald's, actually. I do like them. I think the most I've had at McDonald's was... There's a few um, ridiculous orders I've had. I think... Per, I think... Um, one point when I was young, it was two hamburg, two hamburgers. I think it was two hamburgers, two Big Macs, or was it four hamburgers, four big, two Big Macs? Because um, I got one back, so I wanted to try one. And they gave us an extra one back. So large fries, uh, large chocolate milkshake. But then I had um, used to have regularly four cheeseburgers, large fries, and large chocolate milkshake, or a large milkshake, or a McFlurry. Um, well, the milkshake is quite hard to get hold of in McDonald's half the time. Don't know why they're always off. You know, not on. You can't buy them. Um, but then I was in Holland once. I think I wanted to try. I think a double cheeseburger. Um, I think they had an offer on or something, or was, you know. So I've got. I wasn't sure I'd like them. I think so. I ordered. Um, I ordered like I ordered two or three of them or something. Um, yeah, but I also ordered some regular cheeseburgers as well. But basically, it was quarter pounders. I had like three quarter pounders and three cheeseburgers. You know, large fries and probably a milkshake. So that's probably the most I've ever had really at McDonald's. It was ridiculous. I think I did eat it though. <laughs> It was nice. But I do like McDonald's. I don't think it's my favourite ever. I do like it though. I've definitely it doesn't really it hits the spot, but not that well is the problem with McDonald's. You still feel a bit hungry afterwards. I do like the McFlurries though. I think they're pretty good. Um you know they're not massive either, so what's good about them is you, you don't get loads of calories from them, but you do feel like you've had something a bit um, a bit naughty, you know. So yeah. So I think for me McDonald's, I think it's um, an A basically. Yeah. I like McDonald's, they're um they're nice, you know, they're nice, yeah. Just gonna say, um, not really a big fan of Big Macs though. Big Macs I stay away from really. I like, I want to ketchup on Big Macs. Don't have ketchup on. They have that burger sauce thing, don't they? Um, you get in supermarkets now because they delete the recipe, I think. But uh, well, someone did. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's just not for me, Big Macs. Um, not against um, big burgers and things, but yeah, just Big Macs. Don't know. I'd rather have a quarter pound at McDonald's, I think. But I just generally go for the cheeseburgers. Not even double cheeseburger. Just I just think cheeseburgers themselves are just proportioned perfectly. Um, they're the ones I usually go for. Not even, not even double cheeseburgers, just just regular cheeseburgers. Really like those. Mm. So Papa John's now, yeah, Papa John's um, takeaway pizza place basically. Not my favourite pizza place. I mean, I've been a bit disappointed. I remember when I got them once, take ordered the takeaway from. It took about an hour to come, or ridiculously long, you know, compared to what it was meant to. Come. I know sometimes they can take that long, but it was a lot longer than it should have done anyway. I mean, they have that weird garlic butter dip or something. It just does not work. I know they've tried to, maybe they've tried to copy Domino's. I don't know. But Domino's have a really nice one. Um, is it sour cream and chive or something? I'm not sure it is. Or it's just sour cream. Um, but the Papa John's one just doesn't work, you know. And I don't know. Just not a big fan of that. Just the pizza's is a bit bland, really. I don't know. Just, just not a big fan of them. They do have regular onions, though, which uh, a lot of pizza places don't know. just have red onions. So that's not too bad, or at least they did do anyway. Um, but yeah, for me, it's not a great piece. I've I've tasted better ones that I just get from, you know, just um, regular sort of takeaway places. You know, you just order, it's like, you know, a cheap pizza or whatever. Yeah. So Papa John's is not really. It's okay. I, would, I don't hate it or anything, but I think for me, it's probably a C. It's just all right. Just all right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And Pizza Hut as well. I mean, Pizza Hut... Bit different again. I quite like uh, pizza that gives something a bit more special than Papa John's. I'd say. And I quite obviously eat in the take. I know we're about takeaways, but I guess you can eat in with this, um, which is quite nice. There, all you can eat sort of thing going on, which is not too bad. Um, 
did like a pepper crust as well at one point, a pepper base or something. That wasn't too bad either. Um, so there's some quite nice things, but generally, I don't know, again, pizza, I've never been, I've had deliveries of that. It's not been that great. They're all right, you know what I mean? It's all right, but I think I prefer them to Papa John's. I think they've got something a bit more about them, but um, it tends to be a bit more expensive as well. I don't know. Just Well, they all are quite expensive. These. I think Papa John's is the only one that does a massive pizza size as well, which is quite nice, but you know, like ridiculously big. I think you have to do a bit smaller really i do i can't eat two large pizzas from a place like domino's and stuff like that so you know <laughs> um but again if you get these big ones from a sort of smaller um pizza place they are a lot cheaper but you know, they tend to not be as good sometimes but as i say i think they are probably better than papa john's pizza's not too bad i think for me it's probably i think it's probably um yeah b i think a b's right i was going to say maybe yeah it's a high c low b i think i think a b's about right a b's about right yeah I don't mind them, you know, don't love them, but, you know, there we go. <laughs> We've got Thai next now, as well, Thai. I do some Thai, basically, long story short is, I like Thai uh, green red curries, things like that. I do like those. I made my own sort of a bit. Um, I do quite like them, actually. I don't, not a big fan of other Thai food, but that's not too bad. I do like that. Um, definitely got a place for that. Um, interesting one. Yeah, nice. I say, don't think I love it, but I could quite happily go to a Thai restaurant, and I would be not too bad there. Um I say Chinese one, yeah, I just don't like really. I think a Thai one though, I don't mind at all, you know. I think it's probably, yeah, I don't think it's my favourite, as I say, only like a couple of things from there, really. I mean, you could argue that's probably the case with a lot of places, you know, you just like your favourites and things. Um, Not too bad, I think, yeah, I think for me, it's it's all right. I think, yeah, I think for me, it's all right. I just, I, it's just whether it's a B or a C, I think, is the gist of it. Um... I think a C. I think a C. I don't mind them though, but I think I prefer to go for a curry. I think I'd just always go for a curry over that, really. Yeah. You know what I mean? As in an Indian curry. Um, yeah, so there we go. Yeah. You know, so I think it's quite low down for that reason. But there we are. Yeah. Mm. Then you have Domino as well. You know, I love Domino's pizza. I must say, I really like it. I usually, there's lots of different types. I remember um, the hot hot dog stuffed crust ones where the hot where the, the crust had basically a hot dog sausage all the way around it. And I remember buying that and the regular one just because I didn't like it. But it was a really, it was really, I ate them both in the end. Ridiculous. Shouldn't have done that. Very unhealthy. But um, so I had both large pizzas. Um, yeah, very, you know, what was that, 14, 16 inches or whatever? I'm not sure, but big enough. <laughs> um. But yeah, very, very nice. Uh, I do like Domino's. I usually get my own. I don't normally have uh, sweet corn, jalapenos, um, onions, red onions, pepperoni. Um, yeah, and I think some and um, Domino's herbs and spices, I think, on it as well. And that's my favourite. I love that so much. Really nice. And get the dip as well. Pour the dip. I used to not really bother with the dip. I used to just throw it away. But then I tried it at one point and I loved it. Um, so pour the dip all on it now as well. Um, yeah, it's really nice. I used to wonder what people do when they put stuff on pizzas like you know, you see people want spicy sauce on this, I couldn't get it, but it works really well, actually. It's really nice to put stuff on, or dip pizzas in things. It's really nice, yeah, but adds much to the calories, it really does, but um, very nice, has to be said. Um, I just always love that, uh, I'd say love that dip as well, the, the sour cream and chai, or sour cream or whatever it is. I mean, I was, at one point I was just going to get it, and then just to just to Domino's just to get it. I mean, I went to Domino's first, got that dip, and then went to McDonald's and was just dipping the burgers in the dip, you know, just... <laughs> Oh, really bad. But yeah, I did go through a phase of doing that and trying to buy supermarket equivalents and stuff like this, but nothing was quite as good. But yeah, Domino's for me, definitely an S. It's just uh, really, really nice. Love it. You know, it's my favourite piece of place. Um, quite good as well because you can pick up from there and you pay a lot less half price pretty much for a large piece and stuff like that. It's, uh, yeah, really nice. Really enjoyed Domino's. Definitely my favourite. <laughs> With curry, of course. <laughs> I say it depends what mood you're in, of course. You know, sometimes curry does hit the spot more than Domino's. It just depends. But those two, I think, are my favourite. And then um, slightly followed by McDonald's. McDonald's so, yeah. Mm. Now, Yoshi, you should probably gathered already. I'm not really big. Uh, I know this is probably Japanese food, but I'm not really a big seafood fan. I don't like um, Chinese food either and stuff like this. All that sort of. Yeah, you know, as I mentioned seafood before, the Chinese meal ham. Things like this. Yeah, Yoshi is just not for me. I've, I've never been in there. Uh, I must admit, you know, it's one of those where, you know, maybe I've not given it a try, but I am pretty much 99.9% .9 sure, if not 100 really, that I just won't like. I'm just not into fish. I'm not into raw fish especially. 
I'm not into like sort of the vegetables that would come along with it. I'm just not into that kind of thing. You know, it's just not for me at all. Um, you know, I know people like it. This one is just subjectively, this just isn't for me. Um, it's just not for me. I can't say it in any other way. So, so it's a D, unfortunately. It's just, you know, I know, I know. Some people might really like it, but it's just a D for me. Yeah, so there we go. <laughs> There's a couple I missed off. I missed off Subway and uh, basically Taco Bell or Tex-Mex. I'm going to say Tex-Mex, I think, really, rather than just Taco Bell. Well, A, because I've not specifically been to Taco Bell, even though there is one in the UK near me. Um, well, it's probably more than one in the UK, but there's one near me is what I meant to say. Um, yeah, so Subway. I do quite like Subways, actually. They're a bit plain, but I like, you know, you could have a sort of... I do like the bread. I love... Um, I used to have a sort of like a pizza uh, sub as well, so it'd be sort of like the marinara sauce with cheese on and microwaved. Really nice, um, in terms of the meatballs as well, stuff like that. I, I do quite like some. It's quite a bit boring. I'll retrospectively add it in and um, where it's going to go. You know, it could be said it's a bit boring, it's just a sandwich, but I do quite like them. You say they're not going to blow your socks off or anything, but I do have a place for them. It's somewhere between, I think because it's a bit different than the others, I think normally it would be a C, but I'm going to say a B for it. Um, just because I think it just has a bit of a place where the others, you know, it scratches an each that the other ones just don't, none of the others do. You know, it's a bit different. So, yeah. I think a B. I think B is about right. <laughs> but as I say, it's probably on a taste wise and anticipation wise and quality wise and excitement wise, it's probably a C. But as I say, just because it's just different than all the others, um, you know, and it's yeah, it's convenient as well. And uh, yeah, I think it's just a B. Mm. So it's not. It's it's definitely yeah, higher than a C. But uh, yeah, just for that reason, as I say, it just it just it just hits a spot that the others don't manage because it's just the way it is. No sandwiches and things so, or subs. <laughs> yeah. I like all the breads as well. Nice. <laughs> yeah, and text mess. I do like text mess. I love all the, um, you know, um, yeah, basically. I mean, you could argue, you know, as I say, tapas as well. I don't know. I don't think tapas is quite a takeaway. It's more a restaurant stuff, isn't it? You kind of moving into restaurant type of things. I think text mess is just about a takeaway. Um, just about, not really. But I'm going to include it because it's it's one of those, isn't it? But I'm going to include it. Um, you know, there are places like Barbarito and stuff like that. So we'll include it just about. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I do I do like these, actually. Yeah. I think I prefer to make my own stuff, though. You get those old El Paso. <laughs> um, cheesy sounding, but, uh, yeah, sort of, what's it called? Sort of powders, um, what are they powders? Spice mix, whatever you have to, you know, whatever you want. I do quite like them, actually, and put them in a the tortilla. Then I remember I was, I was thinking I, in, I invented quesadillas as well. You know, the sort of ones where it's basically like two tortilla um so breads what have you or tort two tortillas basically and um, with a filling i mean i remember thinking oh, i could um you know make a pizza out of these and then put like a, a tomato puree or whatever or some kind of you know domino sort of like um um it's called domio uh, is it domio domio that's it domio base whatever or something that maybe i made myself some marinara sauce anyway or whatever um remember um yeah, putting it on the bottom and cheese on and putting it on something in the oven. I thought I'd invented quesadillas, you know, never, didn't know what, but obviously I didn't know they were called that. Just thought, wow, I've made this wonderful thing, and but they, they didn't even really exist. <laughs> so I do have plenty of room for text, man. So I think it's really nice. It's got nice flavour. It's lovely to dip and things. I guess you could also involve, you know, um, Doritos in this, you know, as part of it, isn't there? All these sort of um, nachos and stuff like that. Really nice as well. Do Again, to be like Subway, you know, they're not... It's not the best food in the world, but it, it, it scratches an itch. All the others don't, really. Um, you know, and I think for that reason, again, it's probably it's probably a bit better than the Subway, actually. I think it would go in this category anyway. Um, yeah. It's probably not as good as some of them, though, in, in some ways. But I think it's basically a B. I do, I do like it. I think, as I say, it has definitely a place um, that's different than all the others. It gives you something a bit different, that's for sure. Some, sometimes it's better than other times, but, um, yeah. So there we go. I think uh, I think that's about right. I think it'd be yeah. <laughs> right, guys. Well, yeah. Let me know what you think about this. We had a good uh, yeah, a bit of a good uh, tier list here. Interesting one today. Quite a nice one actually. I'm pretty hungry now. <laughs> yeah. Let me know what you think. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, let me know what you agree as well. If you agree with me or not. Um, yeah. What your S's and A's and B's and C's and D's are. You know. Let me know in the comments or in the chats or both. Um, yeah. Great to hear from you. Be interesting one to hear what you think. I'm sure a lot. I'm sure a lot of people. Very much disagree with me. Maybe even flipped it upside down, you know, with KFC and Yu Sushi and stuff like at the top and, and Chinese basically and you know, things like Indian at the bottom and things like that. And uh, yeah, so maybe there's quite a controversial one perhaps. So be interested to see what you think. <laughs> 
Alright guys, well check out my other uh, tier list as well, I'll put a link in the top right hand corner I'm sure at some point or now or earlier or some, you know, somewhere down the line I'm sure I've done it. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, please like my videos, subscribe if you haven't already, Follow, yeah, check out the YouTube um, member programme, great to support the channel, really really is, links in the description. Um, yeah, I'll see my thing as well, check out Discord server also, link for that's in the description as well, great way to keep in touch with myself and the community. And have a lovely day and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, take care, bye for now, see ya, <laughs> bye.